Hi, it's time to grease the drive shaft, so let's make a quick video of doing just that. Hey, Kens. First things first, PPE. We got gloves. We got rags. And we got a 60 volt grease gun. So some of you I know are aware of the lock and lube and that's what I use. And they also have little uh, needles if you have to push in uh, on the Zerk fitting, if you need to push in the ball to get the grease in there. They make another uh, grease injection needle also. Um, Usually those are for slipping under the uh, rubber boots. Uh, some of your universal joints have that, and you can do that uh, on a quick way. Uh, my first comment to something like that would be, let's just change the uh, Zerk fitting if it's somehow not letting grease in there. So let's just remove the uh, drive shaft and get everything so, so we can actually work on it. Does everyone know if you put your rear, if you put your PTO selector onto your mid mount, you can actually hand turn the rear PTO? With the PTO shaft off, what I do is I always keep a bungee strap with me so I can come over and lift up. And hold hold my drive shaft up if I need to simple life hack with the PTO lifted up and out of the way we're gonna have to go disconnect all of our hydraulic lines as well as our uh, three-point pull the tractor up so then we can pull we can decouple the PTO shaft Good to have rags around. With the hoses out of the way, now we can go ahead and take off the three-point. If you missed the earlier video about putting on the three-series hitch couplings, go and check that out. It's a lifesaver. Now, with all that out of the way, now we can reach the nipple inside the, uh, the joint very, very easily. The next part is actually decoupling the drive shaft and so all we got to do is pull it apart and then once we do that then we'll be able to take this plastic cover off uh, this plastic protection cover we're going to take that off and we're going to grease the uh, little slip ring inside there they do have a nipple where you can take you know a one of those fine uh, gr uh, grease needles and try to get in there. My problem is no matter how much I try to be careful or whatnot, I can't see if the grease is getting in there. I can't see how much grease I'm putting in there and it just becomes a mess. For a, a task that really doesn't take much time to take this uh, protective cover off a drive shaft. To take this uh, cover off that's been <laughs> nicked up pretty good, uh, all you do is take a little flat blade screwdriver, 
lift up on the red keeper, throw your screwdriver down on the ground, <laughs> and oh, pick your screwdriver back up <laughs> and uh, work. There's a little slots that you have to get uh, get that through and whoop there we go next thing you know we have a drive shaft and right here is a little slip ring and they got a little you know grease fitting that uh, you know in a factory setting uh, in a laboratory environment you could probably hit and do uh, what I like to do is just take a little bit of grease, put it right on inside of that slip ring, and just rotate the ring around a couple times. That way I know we're good. And there's nothing to it. The front side is the same as the back side. Take your time. You'll get it. Just remember the little slip ring. Uh, for the protective plastic cover needs grease. That, that's probably the, uh, the trickiest part. After that, put your drive shaft back in. Just slides right back the way it came. in a reverse order. Thanks for watching.